Welcome to Company Showcase, an advertising feature on HowStreet.com. I'm Jim Goddard. I'm speaking with Jim Pettit, CEO and President of Avon Resources. Welcome back to the show, Jim. Thank you very much. Avon has just received news on its final five holes. What kind of news did you receive? Well, uh, the results that we've been waiting on um, came back, and they're actually very good. Um, the final five holes came in. Um, the uh, Basically, the hole four and five, are uh, it, it, they're part of what we put out a month and a half ago or so, that uh, hole hole four started. So the three of them go together off of one pad. And what we've defined there is quite a, a very large, broad zone of mineralization, like over 100 meters, with a high-grade core. Um, hole five, in this particular case that we just announced, came out with a you know very broad zone of 1.2 grams gold. It, it, it actually had good values of copper, but that was over 122 meters. The high-grade core of that was 21.5 grams gold, 28.5 grams silver, and, and 3.1% copper, over 6 meters. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, that's very good. And uh, hole 6 was a broad zone over 94 meters. Um, had lower grades than that, but um, they go along with the hole 4 from our first news release a month and a half or so ago, which was a very broad zone over 385 or 386 meters. So what we've got is a, a very large, continuous mineralized zone. Um, it's got a substantial width. Had we known about this, like if we had gotten our assays even a month ago, we'd still be there probably drilling. But the fact of the matter is the assays took so long, um, in this case because the labs are super backed up, um, but, you know, and that is the, the nature of the beast with exploration. You have a drill plan, you lay it out, and away you go. Um, if we had assays back, we would probably thought twice about drilling hole 7, 8, and 9 further to the south. We would have stayed in this zone and chased it. Um, you know, given all that, you know, we now have our work cut out for us for next year. Um because we could probably go in there and drill another 20 holes just in that zone. Um, what we do know also is through the, the boundary zone in general has about two kilometers uh, in length of really highly anomalous uh, soil samples, golden soil and copper and soil samples. And there's some really good targets there that we want to get to next year as well. But for the time being, we, we now have a, what we would consider a pretty significant discovery um, and it will require significant amount of work next year. Next year we'll be able to get in earlier because we have our permits in place and probably stay later um, because we'll put a bigger plan in place. So for the time being, the markets are, you know, we've now hit tax loss selling time, and and I don't know if the markets are really paying attention to anything more up in the Golden Triangle because pretty much everybody's finished work. But... You know, we also have plans for this winter. We've got another project we're going to be drilling in Jan late January into February when it's good and frozen up um, near Silver Standards project. Uh, they bought the Claude Resource mine. Um, we're just to the south of them on the same structure. Uh, that project's drill ready, permitted and drill ready, so we'll be in there in probably early February. Um, and then early in the year, as early as possible, we want to get up into the Justin because we've got some results coming in on some trenching uh, work we've done this past winter and or this past uh, summer, and they look really good. So we've got our work cut out for us. Where exactly is all that exploration taking place? Well, what we just reported was the Forest Curve Project, which is in the Golden Triangle, um, right in the heart of it. The... Uh, Drilling we'll be doing in, in uh, the new year uh, is in Saskatchewan. Um, that's called the Chico Project. Saskatchewan's a great place to work. That's uh, the area we'll be working in is you know it's like working in the Athabasca Basin. It's better to work in the winter. Everything will be frozen. And then uh, the Justin Project is up in the Yukon, right next to Golden Predator. We're actually tied right onto them. Jim, is there anything else you wanted to tell us about Abin? 
Um, no, it's sitting pretty right now. It's the stock's a little bit depressed because of it. You know, I, I suspect it's because of the end of the season up in the Golden Triangle, um, and it traded millions and millions of shares during the program, and now it's just it's settling back down. Now we're right into tax loss season, so I think right now it's probably a really good buy. Can you tell us where Abin is traded? Where it's traded on the uh, Toronto Stock Exchange, the Venture Exchange under ABN, uh, the OTC pink sheets uh, in the United States, ABNAF, and in Frankfurt, E2L2. And where can people find out more information about Abin? You can go to the website, uh, avinresources.com. You can contact us here at the office, Don Myers, 1-800-567-8181. Jim, thanks for the update. Anytime, thanks. My guest is Jim, has been Jim Pettit, CEO and President of Abin Resources. I'm Jim Goddard. We were speaking on November 7th. Comments made on Company Showcase are an expression of opinion only and should not be construed in any manner whatsoever as recommendations to buy or sell any financial instrument at any time. Archived online at HowStreet.com. Company Showcase is a production of How Street Media Incorporated.